Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. In today's video, I'm going to show the steps to migrate my templates from Autodesk Inventor 2014 to Autodesk Inventor 2015 with a twist. My templates are vaulted, so I need to check them out of vault and then migrate them and check them back in. Now I could check each file out of vault, open it in Inventor 2015, and save it. This would successfully migrate the files. However, I want to do this automatically, maybe even schedule it off hours. So, how can I go ahead and do that? There's a tool included in the install called Task Scheduler, and that's what we're going to take a look at. So, how do we begin using Task Scheduler? We'll find it by going to Windows Start, All Programs, Autodesk, Autodesk Inventor 2015, Tools, and there is Task Scheduler right there. We'll go ahead and get it started, and I'll see my dashboard for the Task Scheduler, and I can go ahead and begin using the tools. Now I want to migrate files, so I can create task, choose Migrate Files, and begin my operation, and that is what I'm going to do. But before I go running off and doing that, look at some of the other options. Note that you can print files, import and export files, convert IDWs to DWGs, just Take a look at some of these things. They might be things that you're doing manually that you can use Task Scheduler for. So think about it. Use it to make your life easier. Be the office hero, except without the cape and spandex, unless you like cosplay. So let's go ahead and in that Create Task menu, choose Migrate Files. Now I get a new dialog and I get to choose some of the settings for my migration. For example, I want to make sure that my project is my current vault project, so everything checks out and checks in to the correct locations. Since these files are inside a vault, I need to make sure that Migrate from Vault is checked. This makes sure that the task scheduler knows to reach into vault, grab those files, migrate them, and put them back. Now, I can go ahead and either add individual files, add folders, or add entire projects, or I can combine those options as well. Since my custom templates are inside a folder, I'm going to add a folder. Task Scheduler will ask me to log into Vault, which I can do, and then I can browse to the folder where my templates are located. Now my standard templates, English, Factory, Metric, and Mold Design, those are the brand new 2015 templates that I've checked in. There's nothing special about those. However, the Woodshop templates are my own custom templates that I do wish to migrate so those I'm going to grab. With those files added, I could add more, but this is everything I need for right now. Now in the lower pane, I can do things like rename the task, I can choose its frequency, if it's going to time out, if it takes too long, I can also schedule it, so if I want it to happen over a weekend or after hours, I can. I don't want to wait that long, I want the instant gratification, so I'm going to fire this off immediately. I'm also going to elect not to make a log file. These files migrate pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of them, so I don't want to have the extra file floating around. I'll just find it three years from now and wonder why I did it anyway, so I'm not going to create it. Now, I'll click the Options button. This will go ahead and let me choose options for how to handle the files. Do I want to perform a total rebuild of the files while they're open? Do I want to skip migrated files, skip unresolved references, use express mode for graphics, so on and so forth, and I can choose any of these options that I need. I'm just going to go ahead and go with the defaults for now. They'll work just fine for me. On the Vault tab, I have my Vault options. I can create a visualization attachment, that DWF. Note that if you check it, it will take longer to perform the migration. I'm not going to bother to create one because it's a template file. There's not really much to it. I could always create one later if I really want one. I could also choose to delete the local copy from my Vault workspace. I don't want to do this in this case. They're the templates. I need them locally to work on them. I'm just using Vault as a way to archive them and pass them around to other users. And you can always enter a comment to include with this version. I know a lot of us don't do it. I'm guilty myself. But it really is a good idea to write down what you're doing. You might be looking at this later on and just need to know what you did. It takes a couple seconds, and like I said, it's well worth it. Now, I'll click OK to close my migration options, and click OK again to begin the migration. Now, what's actually happening 
is Task Scheduler is opening Inventor 2015 without the interface so you don't see it. It's checking the files out of Vault, it's opening them, saving them, and then it's going to check them back into Vault. So it's going to do that whole process that we would be doing manually for us. It can take a little bit of time, so rather than sitting here and trying to fill progress bar time talking to you, we'll go ahead and accelerate time just a little bit and see the results, kind of like one of those cooking shows. Once the migration is complete, I open up Vault Explorer and I can see my template files. I'll even look at the comment, which tells me that, yep, these have been migrated. See? I told you there was a reason to put that comment in. I'll also right-click and go to the working folder. That takes me to the local location on my local drive where the files live. Once that opens up, we can see that the files are right there in my local drive where Inventor is going to be accessing them. So that's it. I'm ready to go. Everything happened automatically. I didn't need to sit there and open and save a bunch of files manually. I just let it go, walked away, enjoyed my coffee, and came back to it. So that's it. That's the process. Now one last note. Consider it an asterisk. If you're intending to use an old version of Inventor, I'm going to continue using 2014 for example, make sure you keep two copies of your templates, 2014 version and 2015 version. Once you migrate files into a newer version of Inventor, an older version can't use that. Make sure you plan ahead. Don't find out the hard way. Just trust me on that one. Been there, done that, not fun. But it is something that's important to note. Plan ahead, just a little bit. Well, that's enough of that. I hope this video is helpful, and we'll see you in the next one.